The projection geometry is a structure that defines the size of the X-ray detector as well as the trajectory of the X-ray source and detector as they rotate around the center of origin, also referred to as the center of rotation. Multiple basic scanning geometries are supported and predefined in the Astro Toolbox. In a two-dimensional parallel beam projection geometry, all X-rays of a single projection are parallel to each other. Such a geometry is created using the function astra underscore create underscore proy underscore geom with parallel as its first argument. Subsequent arguments define the width of a single detector and how many of them there are. The final argument specifies the angles at which the different projections are taken. This should be a list of angles, in radians, between the y-axis and the direction of the x-rays. In this example, we have chosen 180 equiangularly spaced projection angles between 0 and pi. A two-dimensional fan beam geometry is created in exactly the same way, but has two additional arguments. The distance from the X-ray source to the origin of the coordinate system and the distance from the origin to the center of the detector array. A three-dimensional parallel beam geometry is very similar to a two-dimensional parallel beam geometry, but next to the width of a detector, you also have to specify its height and the size of the detector array is specified by its number of columns and its number of rows. Finally, a three-dimensional cone beam geometry is basically a three-dimensional extension of the fan beam geometry and is therefore defined as you would expect. Now these predefined projection geometries cover most of the tomographic experimental setups that are in existence. More advanced projection geometries can also be modeled with the Astro Toolbox, namely with what is called vector geometries, but this will be a topic for a future video. Also, if for example, the origin or the center of rotation does not project exactly onto the center of the detector array, or if the detector array is not exactly perpendicular to the X-ray beam, then the projection geometry does not exactly match that of the experimental setup, which will result in blurry reconstruction images. Also, this can be solved using these vector geometries, which is, as I said before, a topic for a future video.